Well, this is pretty badass looking stuff here, huh? The cabin looks pretty mint. Wow. A lot of snow. Hey, there's my food pot planner in my little trailer. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using it for a while. <sighs> had to put a lid over a tractor, though, you know. I mean, just had to. And then my beams were splitting and snapping from this snow out here. <sighs> so I had to double everything up. You've heard me say that before in videos about sistering. Right? Well, here is the prime example of two sisters. The weight of the snow on this thing. I built this back in... See, that's broke. See, these all, all these tails broke off. So that's why I, I added doublers next to them. Or sisters. Doublers or sisters. Whatever you want to call them. Uh, wow, well, I'm going to have to try and get some of that off of here, I guess. I can't even imagine what that weighs. Oh, that is some heavy stuff. Kind of like here, huh? Very heavy stuff. Heck yeah. Ah. Well, I mean, what I got? I got a food plot over here that every spring I plant, well, I, I till up. And then I wait till about mid July. And I put buck forge oats in there and I put lime down all over the all over the northern soil. We're we're about uh oh I'd say take an hour to get to Lake Superior from here, straight north. Uh we're just south of Ashland County. Uh or whatever that county is in there. Douglas. There's a bunch of them up there. Big ones, big counties around here. These these counties in the north are huge. And, you know, you see, well, anyway, that food plot gets planted every year, and it does really good. I mean, we, we there's a lot of big deer here. I mean, northern Wisconsin, if you've got enough private land and there's not a, hunt, a lot of hunting pressure, there's big, big deer here. And we have about, well, let's see, I got, I got a 40. My dad's got 70 by the highway. I got the, a 40 behind his 40. Then the neighbor has 80. He, one guy hunts it, and he doesn't even hunt much. Then to the, the east of here, or I mean west of here, Kevin Mill Cranberry owns it. And that would be a lady that used to live in Germany. Now she's here. She owns Ocean Spray, I believe. Kevin Mill Cranberry. Anyway, she owns 350 behind me with all the cranberry ponds. Then she bought a man's land just to the west of me, which is another 350. Then she bought a bunch of land down along the highway. I'd have to, I'd have to look it up to see what she owns. She owns a lot of land, but she doesn't let anybody hunt. And my land touches her land. Uh, let's see, 40, so that'd be 1,200, 1,200. So 2,400 feet of this land uh, go along hers. And then on the back corner of my 40, there's a county 40, which is landlocked because it used to be the old town dump, you know, years ago. And it, it's just like a, an overgrown patch of weeds and trees and pine trees now. But boy, there's big deer back there. And that butts right along, that butts right up to the cranberry bogs. So it's all good land. It's all big hardwoods. Uh, we had it logged off a couple of years ago. I don't know. I don't know how many cord they took out of here, but they thinned it out. I mean, it's still all big stuff. They, let's see, they, they logged it off in 90. Let's see, what year did I buy this? I bought this in 97. The guy that I bought it from, he bought it from a logger who owned it just for the timber. He bought it off the state of Wisconsin at a, law, at a, at a land auction for timber. And uh, let's see, he owned three forties here, so me and my dad each one, and then the neighbor guy got one. And that's kind of the land here. Anyway, it's uh, chilly. I'm gonna have to make my way to the car, go to town, and get to my parents for supper.